Prostitution is known as the oldest profession and is the exchange of sex for money. This service is usually provided with stills and is often seen as a controversial topic with different ethical issues. Although the practice is illegal in most countries, including Ghana, it appears to be a magnet for women seeking money overnight. Are we too quick to condemn people engaged in this act or are there genuine and justifiable reasons why people decide to sell their bodies? Abdul Hai Mumen has been on the streets at night looking for answers. In Accra, the majority of prostitutes are female. However, men do become prostitutes, but that's rare in our part of the world. For instance, not too long ago, this homosexual prostitute was arrested by a military patrol team dressed like a female in search of clients as he walked around pretending to be a female prostitute. <laughs> For years, the Kwame Nkrumah Circle and the cantonments roundabout, also occasionally referred to as Togo Embassy area, where the capital's most notorious red light districts, where prostitutes competed fiercely for clients. Now, business seems to be thriving in new areas like La Paz, the Accra Mall area, and Timberland in Dansoman. Armed with just a mobile phone, some cash, and a car, we set off after 1 a.m. in search of the ladies of the night. This was because we were tipped off that the very professional ones operate in the wee hours. Our aim was to find out why people engage in prostitution. We first stopped at Vienna City around Kwame Nkrumah Circle. Here, even in the full glare of the police, the sex workers went about their business uninhibited. The police explained why the ladies are not arrested willy-nilly. It is very difficult to... Uh, determine who a prostitute because if you find ladies in town you don't just go after them we are, we are very mindful of the human rights of people uh -huh. in a few occasions uh, if it is established that uh, a particular person or group of uh, female are prostitute we come after them but uh, you don't just go and run people up just because they are in town and they, they dress in a manner that uh, which people claim is unacceptable here, at this nightclub in the heart of the capital, clients pay the ladies of the night to openly dance for them. A transaction that does not involve touching. Touching any of these workers comes at a fee. There are brothels where if a patron is unable to pay for a hotel, the ladies are prepared to take their clients to for an extra fee. We caught up with one of them and after a 10 minute negotiation, she agreed to grant us an interview on condition that we would not expose a face on TV. Another condition was that for every five minutes of her time, we would pay her 20 Ghana cities. We agreed. She admits that she is a prostitute and that she came to Accra in search of a job. But when she failed to secure one, a friend introduced her to prostitution. Some of her clients, she says, are influential people in Accra. For short-time services, she charges 50 Ghana CDs. This is how she starts her story. She spoke in G. <laughs> How did she get into the profession? Uh, Oh, big, big men. She would, however, not say how much money she earns in one night. 
Oh, say we'll be a one hour, and I say, or do you go for your Any damage? Any damage? Any damage? Say, come here, person, be far. I'm going to be missing. So, for me, I'm going to show you a major way to stay here. I'm going to Many girls, like our informants, are forced into prostitution by circumstances such as joblessness and broken homes, among a host of other reasons. Others, too, do it just for the fun of it. But whatever the reason, who are we to judge them? When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, Let any one of you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. At this, those who heard began to go away one at a time, the older ones first, until only Jesus was left with the woman still standing there. Jesus straightened up and asked her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? No one says, she said, Then neither do I condemn you. Jesus declared, Go now and sin no more. And do not compel your girls to prostitution if they desire chastity to seek thereby the temporary interest of worldly life. And if someone should compel them, then indeed Allah is to them after their compulsion forgiven and merciful. Abdul Hai Mumin, GTV News, Accra.